at half backs and we are well underway 35 minutes each way this is the fifth place playoff carried back hold him from hold 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 is that on that and already both teams are looking to attack and coming from deep here they go no heads off competitive on the floor already and it's nice to say that so far we haven't had any rain but apparently around about three o'clock there might be some in the area so we'll have to see didn't get the ball Six. Get behind him, mate. Yeah, cheers. Well, already. Put you on the line. The please. penalties. No, black, sorry, black. Yep. Coming in uh, sometimes difficult. What's wrong, mate? Okay. Open with up, these Open weather up. conditions, that okay. it's going to be Truro College with the lineouts. Well, here comes Edson and Edson fronting up and showing bravery in the contact. Walker trying to get this away quickly in. Good fend and dink forward from the fullback Jaden Oaks, and it might just bounce in to touch inside the 22. On the line, Black. On the line, please, Black. Early stages, but a promising attack. Well, break through the middle. Not straight down the other side. It was Hayton. Charging forward. Scrum will line up, Black. Sorry, scrum, yeah. Big close scrum, TC. Sorry, we're back. We're back here, but not straight. Yeah. Back here, sorry, boys. Sorry, mate. Stay behind me, I'll exit that way. Well, our referee for this one, Chris Rodwell. Crouch! First chance to see what these two teams have got in the scrum. Joe Walker at nine for Truro College. Elderkin. And bashing up through the middle is Edson. Loose ball and it's picked up again and this time Elderkin takes it. It's away with the boys in yellow. Goss for the academy. Have some space. It's dinked forward. It might just bounce again. And it was fumbled slightly by Oaks. And Goss for the done well to pin them back in the 22. And it is a penalty. Oh, he tried to take it quickly, didn't he? Ben Douglas, the referee, pulling them back. In front of the mark. Just in front of the referee and oh, what are they going to do here oh. kick for the corner but it's gone off the right of his boot and it was a bit too casual wasn't Strong it 22. from Jeremy Civil 22. perhaps not realising how strong the wind is and when it gusts it really blows all behind please Nat Dart, fly half in the scrum hat for Truro. The 22 drop out straight back to Gosforth. And, well, Douglas has just about got there. He's dinked it back and it's going to bounce high on this 4G rubber crumb pitch. And here goes Nat Dart slicing his way through. Coulson. Gosforth get the penalty, Colston. 
and uh, it was Barnaby Elderkin guilty of holding on. Dink into the corner by Jack Stratton, or rather uh, Will Hindle for Gosforth Academy. to get another well, ball to. on the field. Now we've got two, maybe three. Oh, okay. Oh, me please wait. See on Gittins Fine. with the line. It's been stolen. More. Great take off the top by Jack Stay Bailey. Okay. Bailey's still going, managed to break free of the Roll mall. Out. and. He's finally brought to ground. Don't run for it. Smashed from the try line by Jaden Oakes, and it's fallen to his opposite number, Tom Chandler. Chandler with the ball in one arm. Going a bit Didn't sideways. Out, and out, fine, fine. Well. Finally shunts up, and it's shipped out wide into the hands of Merlane. Hindle. And he's back with Truro in the black. Statton. Penalty advantage. Three. Well, they're looking to go wide, and it's Edson bouncing off a tackle. Okay. Well, coming back for the offside penalty advantage. Three in front of the last seat. Yep. Jaden Oakes is going to put this downfield. He's gone into the 22, and Truro are going to have a line out. Well, if you're only just joining us, a very warm welcome, or should I say, chilly, breezy welcome to Stourbridge Rugby Club in the West Midlands. It's uh, played host to the RFU. Ace League Point. finals One yesterday two, and today. We had three games yesterday. Okay, yeah, get in now then, please. Uh, Thank you. The four big ones today. This is the penultimate game of the lot. The fifth place playoff. Truro College taking on Gosforth Academy. Our final game. The 4:30 p.m. kickoff coming after this. It's the championship final. forward pass from Truro just stops that attack and it's Gosforth at the scrum. Well yesterday it was uh, it was cold it's still very cold today but the wind has died down somewhat we had gale force 46 mile an hour winds I think at one point just blowing all over the shop and it was from left to right so if you were playing into it it made it very difficult very much a tail of two halves we had hailstone if you see some of the highlights from yesterday the picture was uh, a little bit frosty at points with the conditions we had but today it's a bit better it's still breezy it's still cold but we've seen plenty of action Gosforth trying to play it from deep and a lovely play through from Williams and Williams needs some support if he looks left he might have some well tackled in the end and here they come through Gittins and they're going out wide through Kilston and it's into the left wing Reese Merlane well how about that from inside their own 22 into the top left hand corner in the blink of an eye Gosforth Academy take first blood in this fifth place playoff wow just maybe one of the picks of the tries of the day so far anyway can't wait to see that again Reese Merlane finishing it off in the corner some lovely interlinking play and it was this break from Thomas Williams the Gosforth inside centre 
storming through. Well chased back, wasn't he, by Josh Golden Clark. And how about that for a one handed offload off the deck? Some great interlinking play. Gittins getting in there. Colston feeding his left wing. And Merlain wasn't going to miss. Well, Gosforth lead five points to nil. Well, already seeing a change in personnel for Turo. I think uh, a bit of an injury to one of their players. I think maybe the arm. I'm not quite sure who's changed over. Breaking through the middle. Here goes Douglas. Steps off his left. Just trips almost. Still might be on for them here. Down the right wing. Patterson. Couldn't get the offload up. It's been knocked on by Turo though, so another chance for Gosford. Well, how about that for a break from Ben Douglas? Pinned his ears back, he looked left and right for the support. Just tripping over his own feet in the end. He did well to evade another tackle. Patterson just couldn't lift the ball off the floor but a fantastic break Crouch. and it's Ben Douglas that will put the ball into the scrub right. for Gosforth Set. out the back Oldham on the charge gets the ball away to Williams and the whistle is blown it's going to be another scrum, but this time to Churro. Williams just in front of Oldham. Crouch. Joe Walker at scrum half for Truro College today. Solid scrum, very even scrum, and they look to come blind with Jaden Oaks. Oaks just up, getting on the outside edge, and Walker sending it back. Joe and Peck charging forward. It's Bailey this time. Well, a huge boot from Churro, sending that one downfield. George Edson with the boot. What a nudge from him. Cleared almost 60 metres. Gosforth calling for the six man line out. Sion Gittins has a bit of a word with Michael Rucastle, the captain. And through the middle, here they go. It's Williams. Look. Well, they're going to come back for the offside from Gosforth. Well, from uh, attack to defence and. Uh, Zach Oldham, who made that break there. You guys had no receiver there, you're all back 10, yeah? Offside, he wasn't 10. Fine. And Jaden Oakes pings that into the corner, and Truro now with yeah. the five metre line out. I, I looked, there was no receiver, and I saw set up, or you were all back 10. Line out wasn't over, and he came charging up 10, yeah? That's, no, you're on the five? They're out here. Oh, 
Well, it's an overthrow. It's not straight. And a chance to breathe for Gosforth. Gosforth uh, with Ben Douglas. We'll have the scrum on their own five metre. I made it there. Thank you. We've seen that they can turn defence into attack and play from deep already in this game. Crouch. Fine. They do have a, a bit of a tailwind on their backs. Well, that's Oldham carrying forward. Backwards. Just wow. drifting to the middle and a big kick forward from Douglas. Oaks, lovely take from him got two yellow shirts in front of him and still going forward battling hard Bailey making the meters and it's a penalty to Gosforth Douglas taking it quickly really trying to play with high tempo and he might be away here he's got clear track in front of him he's being chased down by Dart he needs some support it's been plucked out the air by George Edson Douglas no, back last week. Thank Just you. didn't have the legs in the end. It was a great break. The kick into touch from Truro. And a bit of a breather for Gosforth. Well, he's a live wire, isn't he, Ben Douglas? I need a shoelace anyway. Truro really need to try and keep an eye on him because already in this game, he's causing havoc for them in defence pinned his ears back and look at Nat Dart the Truro fly half chasing back Sion Gittins just couldn't quite pluck that offload out of the air it was Jaden Oaks to pump the ball into touch to end that fatiguing period of play but what a break eh Ben Douglas. Step you over there, please. They're going to be on the line. One more. Thank you. Black on the line. Wait, time's still off. Wait, wait, wait. Time's still off. Douglas just uh, been receiving a bit of treatment. I think he took a hammering on the floor. You okay? All good. All right, time back on. Not on the out. Thank you. More. Hayden taking it from the top of the line out. Good ball. And they're trying to set up this driving more. Douglas into Oldham and it's a big carry from the number eight puncturing holes already in this game stepping back is Civil Civil gets it out to Gittins and Gittings just drifting sideward and it back in the hands of Merlane the try scorer no, entry, entry. No, no, no. out the back and it's Civil stepping through a bit of a half break Lowe's gets the pass and it's unfortunately forward for Gosforth. Chance for Turo to have a bit of a rethink just take a pause and we said before it's difficult to play in to this win when you're playing from right to left in this current condition Eight spined up. Set. Walker with a put in at the scrub gets it away to Oaks with the low punt down field and it's still rolling tiptoeing on the line Tom Chandler and unfortunately he's carried that into touch and Truro are going to get the line out well inside the Gosforth half taken off the top by Jago Shepherd. Edson carrying it up. 
penalty. Gosforth getting the ball back. It looks as if it's going to be Will Hindle that sends this long. Just fizzing down and it might stay in play here. Toure playing on and Elderkin with the carry. This time though, number 24, Archie Rolls. I think they've got a missing number three shirt because he's uh, playing three but wearing 24. Two plus four, that's six, half of six, three. So I sort of see the loose resemblance. Pete Harris there, number 17, carrying up. Steal from Gosforth, dink over the top. Well, Douglas 